Hello everybody, welcome to the first match of the CCL Season 52. Uh, I guess one of the last one of the last competitions in Blood Bowl 2 before we get Blood Bowl 3. Very exciting. We've got Rick and his Batonians. No, versus I win Glorious. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Hello, are you betting on the Bretts or the Goblins? Thank you, very much. Face. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pistachio. Yes, of course. Massive, massive favourite here, Rick. Even though Yudi is very good with Goblins, um, you know, he's he's about 20% to win this, if that. It's a very, very tough matchup for him. Um, and there you go, Rick's got a rackle. I'm like, not having the block on this guy is pretty big, right, versus Goblins, because they've got no block. So actually is significantly worse, not having a block. But he does have the Dauntless, so he can just 2D the trolls there. There you go, block. Uh, so yeah, it actually, it actually is a weakness that he doesn't have block on these guys, with all these guys in Mighty Blow. He's got lots of Mighty Blow here. <laughs> That's true, Jack Bill. Yep, um, Jack Bill and Elliot did this. Did do this game live. I was there in chat. I could have just burst into Rick's Rick's channel, but I didn't. I thought I'll let these two, I'll let these two amateurs, you know, do their best. Uh, you know, like 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 a like a kids football game or whatever. You know, I thought I'll let them, I'll let them try and get their little uh, <laughs> get their little moment of glory in without overshadowing them. But you know. Now we've got the real professional commentary here. So, <laughs> but you know, if you want to know about uh, about making D and D maps or uh, going six two six with vampires, they're the channels to look for. Jack Bull and Elliot, absolutely great guys. <laughs> Interesting strategy here from Yudi, completely abandoning his defense on turn one, um, but gets a Kaz, fantastic. And no Apo there from Rick, which is a big decision, isn't it? Because that, like that's a that's a huge play for winning the game. Um, but obviously, Rick supremely confident, not Apoing that. I mean, if this was a real team, you would Apo that 100%, right? If this is like if this was a team you thought you could ever lose to, you Apo that. But Rick's just trying to get through without permanent injuries. I've got no idea uh, of the answer to that question, Randy. <laughs> so there you go. Um, Going to 3D this goblin, isn't he? But yeah, it's funny because the, the wrestle is actually, is actually bad versus the goblins because, you know, none of them have got block. So this would actually be loads better with block for this game. Mo mostly it doesn't matter too much. Um... <laughs> on Jack Bull's channel. Well, there you go. I don't know. <laughs> Big hit. Surprised about the follow-up. Don't... Oh, my God. You lunatic. I hate this pylon. This is... I mean... Just... Just terrible. Genuinely terrible there. <laughs> Some would say unforgivably bad, that pylon. That is... Oof. Not what I would do, but who can say if it's good or bad? It does have grab here for the sidestep. Um, yeah, that was that was. You know, because you know you're going to get fouled. Like you know you're going to get fouled, and you're probably going to get stunned. And then, like, Yudi's already abandoned the defense previous turn, right? So he's he's already shown that he's not. Too interested in scoring, stopping the score. So just blitz, pull back, progress happily. Maybe it was to tempt him, in, like maybe it was a foul bit to tempt him into fighting and getting around the ball and generate more hits. But that was uh, not what I would do. I thought that was pretty crazy by Rick. And even that wasn't pushing him to... Oh, no, yeah, that was going to push him to a little bit safer, but he hadn't moved this guy first. Oh, wow. <laughs> Brilliant play by Rick. Generates a hit on a on a strength 
Strength 5, Armour 9, Thick Skull Regen and gets the removal. Fantastic, top quality play. <laughs> and uphill double pals, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he'd got the skull there, nothing really bad happens. But he could have, he could have been safe. But instead, he wants to foul. No, he doesn't. This guy should have just gone here first. This guy should have just gone here first before that hit. That was a bit, a uh, bit sloppy by Rick. But this is the thing you see. I have the, I have the attitude that things might go wrong when I roll the dice. And Rick's just become immune to that, hasn't he, over the years of nothing ever failing. He doesn't really register that things might fail when you make a dice roll. He's just like, well, I'll power this guy and I'll Kaz him. And then this will foul and be a Kaz. And then <laughs> this will block and work. Whereas I just think, oh god, I don't want my Pommer to get Kaz instantly. But I mean, he has been stunned two turns in a row. So like, you know, Yudi's been able to... Uh, you know, target him with big assist fouls. And, like, this is the biggest threat to Yudi. And, like, I know, obviously, Yudi hasn't got much chance, right? Yudi hasn't got much chance. He's got goblins. He hasn't got much chance of winning this game. But the thing of all the things on Rick's team, like, all the bludges are horrendous because you can't knock them over or anything. Like, you know, Rick's whole team is a nightmare to deal with. But the tackle pommer is, is the thing most likely to kill all your team. And take the game, like, re reduce anything, any chance you've got, right? So, to be allowed to foul in multiple turns in a row is pretty great. So, yeah, it could have it could have been, but it's it's almost his only route into this, you know? You're almost playing into Yudi's only route to victory, which is to not get massacred by this type of thing. Ooh! Could, could. I wonder if Yudi could have done something clever there. He hit this guy. I wonder if he could have chained, could have like dodged here and then chained him to there. And then hit him. He pushed him to the, he, he was here. So you could have pushed him to there and then pushed him to there. I wonder if you could have got a hit on the ball with a troll. Like through multiple chain pushes. He might have been able to. We'll never know. On a replay, you know, it's replays are fast moving. We can't pause anything to uh, see what could have happened. It might have been difficult, but it might have been, you know, might have been able to do like, might have been able to do something. Like that. Probably not. That is not final problem yet. Nope. The goblins can inflict pain, yeah. I mean, that, that's why Rick hasn't uploaded this, right? It's like... He just thinks... I'm gonna win. Let me get through with without permanent damage. And it's probably true. Apple's the first thing, because... I mean, he could have uploaded this KO, to be fair. He could have actually uploaded this KO. But I guess uploading the first cast is fine. It does, yeah, exactly, exactly. D two D. I did. I did not like laying out the pommel there. Like here, at least you've got a bit of protection from him now, right? You've got a bit of protection for him now. This can hit this. This can hit this. He's there. So, so now this pylon is kind of fine. He's got uh, three bribes and no bibs. But um. Two apples and three rides, there you go. So yeah, I mean I think maybe he's apple and this guy, but you know, Yudi knows his stuff, right? And I guess he thinks it's worth up in the first cards because he's got the secret weapons that he wants to keep on the pitch, doesn't he? And like also this this like he'd already not been able to uh stop this he was already unable to stop the score when, when this guy got killed. To be fair, to be fair, the defense was already gone. And there was a DP on the next team, wasn't there? No, there isn't. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Not. 
Been pretty dice, hasn't he, Yuddy? Three big fouls on this guy. Nothing. I mean, you made that one, Kaz. And he's taken two Kaz and two KOs. Glorious cannonball pile. Yeah, it's it's funny Rick's strategy of the uh, the early pile on. Like these ones aren't so bad because these are more protected. But the early ones, I didn't like it. Interesting to hit without uh, without block. I guess because he got mighty blow. A bit greedy. Hard to foul out the trolls though, isn't it? With regen and thick skull. You could just get your own player sent off. I wouldn't do it, but then I'm not with. And he does not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if everybody in Blood Bowl, the one most likely to respect thick skull is Rick. <laughs> Does he get the armor break? He does. And that means that Yudi really hasn't got anything except maybe a throw. Oh wow, Duble Skulls? No. So no, there's nobody to throw anything. That's basically his whole team removed. And he's even fouling him. No, he's not. So he's got double dodge and then an uphill double pause. Or he just goes for attrition. Yeah. Mm. Not sure about that because it gives you hits back. Uh, I, I, I probably think it was worth going for the double dodge uphill double pow. Maybe it's not. Maybe just leave everyone down. I'm well, giving away that one. Like trading mighty blow hits. I'm not. Not sure it's worth, but then, you know, on the other hand, Yudi plays a lot of goblins, like he knows he's got to get lucky, doesn't he? You know, Rick is, Rick is no slouch, it's not as if, like, he's playing an idiot that he can, he can outplay, you know, easily. He can play better than Rick, but can he play better enough than Rick to overcome the skill deficit between goblins and, and Bretonians? Probably not. So, he's got to dice him, hasn't he? Can he play well enough to win once he dices Rick? Yes. <laughs> but he's got to dice him first and foremost. <laughs> nope, Kadenik is not a slouch either. Speaking of which, here he is, the man himself. Yuri! Thank you for the raid. Hello. No spoilers, please. We've got no idea what happens. <laughs> at least, at least four people have got no idea what happens. <laughs> Don't watch the pod. Yeah, it's good. Good advice. <laughs> there you go. Five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be fair, even people, even people who haven't seen it, have got a pretty good idea what's going to happen. But hey, you never know, right? There's the the one turn chance here. Where is the one turn chance? Anything can happen. Instant. Instant fail. Interesting to not make any hits on the allies first. Um, or anything. But. 
diced coffee beans. I don't actually know that one because uh, that was after my bedtime. Uh, glorious show me magic. Fantastic. I mean, it's pretty good, isn't it? The replays are pretty good. Like no messing around. Like it's bad when you when you're playing a game and you you're waiting for somebody to think, and then when you're watching a game waiting for somebody to think, even worse. Is that a double one on the bride? It looked like a double one on the bride. Oh, maybe it's because it was the wake up and then the bride, so it looked like a double one. Yeah, he had three brides, didn't he? One failed and two worked. These three all say it failed, so I've had to keep them. Three. God, what? Three, six, nine, ten. No, eleven. We've got eleven players. There's eleven goblins. Hello, Jam Toast. Cheers, showing that it. Oh, it defended it. Interesting. There's a case for not having fend on manual. Well, not having fend on auto versus uh, bone chain. Boosh! That's a pretty good punch. Bit exposed. Fanatic, what can you do? Foul the uh, I wonder if you'd have fouled the peasant. Probably not. There's so many good players, and Rick showed no shyness about piling on, so you probably want to save this guy to foul the, uh, the pommer. And foul the peasant. Interesting. Again, it comes, it comes, it comes down to how how much you think you've got to die somebody, doesn't it? And there you go. Yudi has played a lot more goblins than me, and will have much more of an idea of how much he has to die somebody. Well, Christopher B. Interesting, didn't change the vent to uh, manual there. Or maybe he did, who knows. But I would have probably wanted him to follow. Maybe not actually, who knows. This is a pretty, some pretty good turns here from Yuri. He has grab, but it's still fend though. Doesn't he have to follow automatically because he's a bowling chain? Don't ball and chains just move that? Like, have, don't they have to move? Don't they have to move? If he doesn't fend? So it's still up to Rick to fend or not. But I just think he had it on automatic. Because what kind of monster wouldn't have fend on automatic? Oh. Sad, stupid troll. Yeah, exactly. It's the, it's the whole, it's the whole like uh, snowball effect. But like, if you don't have to get lucky, you can just foul. You can save the DP for the better players, can't you? But if you if you've got to get really lucky to win the game, then you've just got to, you've just got to go for it. There we go. Fails the Dauntless. Does the one D two re rolls gone hitting this? Uh, Hitting this fanatic. <laughs> so pretty good value of leaving him out dry a little bit. Now oh, 
the saw comes in for the for the blitz. Diced. It's the power. Now I see now this player fouling him is glorious, isn't it? Fouling this guy is flipping glorious. Oh, Ripper. Oh, and then they have a sidestep. Grab. Sad. Otherwise, grabbing him here would be pretty good, so you can just go forward. Foul. Foul first. I would have gone there for an extra assist, even. Don't know why he's back here. To protect the saw a little bit more. I would have fouled before the block, I think. <laughs> I don't know, it does get you two assists, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it gets you two assists. I guess you've got to do it. I'm surprised this guy isn't here. Let's hope that one assist isn't the difference. It isn't. He's fucking dead. <laughs> well, there you go. Payoff for not appoing earlier. Obviously, he doesn't give a shit about the uh, dead peasants. But, um... This has been a hell of a half so far for Yudi. Three, six, eight players. <laughs> Rick obsessed by this fanatic. <laughs> Absolutely obsessed. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's hypnotized, Rick. I wonder if Nick is particularly susceptible to hypnotize hypnotization. So there you go. Good, good, good plan there. If you're ever playing Rick in Chalice and you've got Skaven, make sure you buy a rat ogre so you might you might hypnotize him with a tail. <laughs> Oh man. So now now like the gang files can be huge, can't they here? Oh look at this one. Fuah. Fuah. Both of them's done take your pick of which one to foul. Oh, the saw. Not for him. Interesting, interesting. I think I would have 3D'd him. But this is probably better, isn't it, thinking about it? My instinct would have been to 3D him. And, like, you know, go here and file one of these two. But this is a bigger payoff. Gets more forward. Can't afford to dodge away from tackle. So I have to do the uh, foul first. Yeah, I would have just—I would have rather secured it. I would have rather secured the yeah, because like obviously this ended up great, stunning him. But I would have rather just blitzed here, I think, and then secured around here. Oh my God, Rick is obsessed. Oh no, he's not. He was hitting the other one. I thought he must have. I thought he must have made his dauntless roll and got the one D. So now he's going to dauntless for two D. Is he finally going to get it? He does. He gets the pal. and casts him. Well, there you go. If he blitzed him, that wouldn't have happened. Just quietly. Oh wow! Going after score. Interesting. So we're going to foul the edge guarder. It's not what I would have done. I would, I would have still, I would have still stayed around here trying to foul these guys out. Personally, yeah, I guess due to the time. Use the use the saw. I don't know, I would have maybe not gone that far forward. I would have maybe still kept the whole team together. I fouled him. But, like, this is a better foul target, isn't it? I don't like splitting the team. And the bad thing is, by fouling him with him, you expose it in the instant removal. 
as if he'd gone up here and fouled him there, you know, like with ease, then he's not getting blitzed. Man, I, it's, this is rotten, isn't it? I think I would have just activated one of the trolls. And, like, scooted him in forward. One, two, three, four. Like, moved this troll to there, but kept the other troll back here. Because boneheading's horrendous, right? Like, boneheading is horrendous. By, by getting both of them here, that means you don't have to activate them next turn, I guess, which is good. This is why I wouldn't have split the team, see? Because now it's harder, because now you've only got a few players to stall. Whereas if you'd kept the team together last turn... Then you could have brought more with you this turn. Oh wow, that's unlucky. I really don't want to re-roll it either, like, it's just... It sucks, doesn't it? Maybe these should have been sideline? Maybe this should have been a sideline cage with the trolls? Because you just bases and then how do you stall? I guess you just got to go over here. Oh, the Duble skulls. Ooh, he's got a base ripper, hasn't he? unfortunate. So that last move, that last move is what does it, isn't it? Without that, it looks pretty safe. With that, it's pretty fucked. I guess you've got to do this one in nine block. See what happens. If you pow, then you can stall. Yeah, if you pow, if you pow this, you can stall. If you don't pow, you've got to try and stall anyway. Basically. Yeah, Blitz with Ripper, yeah. That's why I think Rick should have GFI'd there. Because, you know, letting Ripper come here is too good, isn't it? Yeah, this is exactly what I would have done this turn. Yeah, that's... That is, you're the played the exact turn that I would have played that turn. Yep. Oh, it sucks. I mean, you can stall with a pow, but if you don't pow, you've still got to stall. Like, you've still got to. Or maybe you could have re-rolled. You could have re-rolled the 2D, I guess. Or tr it tried to. <laughs> I mean It sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe, maybe. It's really hard to stop a two turn there. Like, you haven't got a team, have you? It's the problem. The problem with stopping a two turn is the not having the whole not having a team part. Kaz send offs. Chaos, goblins. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's so easy for him to get 2D on the ball. I don't know, yeah, that'd be a tough one. That's a tough one to know whether the score's right or not. I think with a POW, the stall is 100% correct on a POW, right? And then with it not being a power, there's just not enough time to uh, calculate everything. You've just got to go with your gut feeling, haven't you? Well, indeed, how easy. Yeah. 
It was a good effort. It's a good effort losing 1-0, honestly. I mean, you can re-roll it as you need, because you only need one re-roll for overtime, as you just try to one, you just try to one turn like an idiot, because that's all you can do, because goblins are shit. <laughs> so, yeah, it's tough. It's like, there's so it's so tough with goblins. Um, but, yeah, great effort by Yudi. And obviously well played by Rick. Got there. Got there in the end. Uh, there were some scary turns from the Goblins, wouldn't there? So made, made the uh, second half very interesting. I think maybe the thing was the splitting away too soon kind of thing. Maybe. Arguably. I don't know. Um, but could have kept the team together more a bit maybe. And then, uh, you know, try to stall further away from the end zone with a bit more support. Might have been, might have been good. Fouled that Edge 4 guy instead. Who knows? But um, very nitpicky, isn't it? You know, it's and, and and nobody knows that's a thing. And you know, but great, great effort. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.